a really great feature that exists in Google Sheets and other spreadsheet applications is freezing columns and hiding columns. So first I'll show you how to hide columns and then we'll talk about freezing columns. Here I have my spreadsheet that shows the Utah Jazz uh, scores and their games for the 2015-2016 schedule. And if I look over here at my total wins column, notice each of these cells has a formula in it. In other words, it depends on other cells in order to get the result. And if I click here, you can see it depends on these cells right here. So it's using all of these cells right here as part of its calculation. And if I remove those cells, then I'll no longer get the result that I want. So let me show you what I mean. If I delete these cells, notice all my numbers are changing over there. I don't really want that to happen because that's kind of removing um, the result that I want. So I'm going to undo all of that. But there is a way that I can hide this column right here. So I want to hide this column right here, but I don't want to actually delete the data. So I can come right up here to the column header, the F, and I right click and then I scroll on down. I move my mouser down to uh, um, hide column right here. So I click on that. And now what that does is you'll notice, for one, there's a, see those little two black tabbies right there? So I can tell there's a column hidden there. And uh, two, the, the column is gone. And none of my formulas were impacted. So that's hiding columns. If I need to bring that column back, usually what I'll do is I'll select the two uh, row, uh, columns that are in between the hidden columns. And I can come down and click unhide columns. And then I get that column back. The other feature I wanted to show you was how to freeze rows or columns. And we're going to do it with a row in this example. Okay, So um, notice when I scroll down, the headers are gone. So I don't really necessarily know. I don't know, was this the Jazz's team score or was this the uh, New Orleans Pelicans score? I, I don't know which score is which. right? So I have to scroll back up. Oh, the first column was the Jazz, second was the opponent. Oh boy, opponent spelled wrong there. Um, but uh, I, I, I want those headers to follow me. So when I scroll down, it's like these numbers over here. I don't know what those numbers are if I don't have my headers, right? So what you can do is freeze rows. So I'm going to come right up here and click under the one. And then if I come up to my menu and select view and I highlight freeze, I'll get a few different options here. And I can freeze no rows or no columns. That's basically how you take off the freeze. But I could freeze row one, two rows. I'm just going to do up to row three and see if that works. Now, you notice, see this line here that's been created, kind of this bold line? That's the place where it's frozen. So if I scroll, oh, it looks like it didn't really do what I wanted it to, right? Because I didn't want the Detroit Pistons to follow me everywhere. So instead, I'm going to come back up here to view, and I'm going to freeze no rows. So I'll take that off, move my uh, cell up one more, and go view, freeze, up to current row. And now when I scroll, all of my headers follow me. So that's a, an easy way to make a spreadsheet viewable for other people. And it makes it so that you can only show the data that you want to show. And it's really easy to read.